Lego Nexo Night is new in town. What is special about this new theme? So I would say the digital physical uh, experience for the kids. So uh, the kids actually have a have an app where they can they can scan in their their powers from the physical toys uh, to to fight the lava monsters um, and save the universe of Nighton. Okay, is there one model of yours, or do you help with any of those? Uh, well, I am responsible for the you know, the whole creative development as the design lead, so I don't uh, build myself. Uh, but of course I give directions uh, so that the whole theme uh, has one design language, you can say. So you tell the people what to do and what not to do? I mean, uh, I, <laughs> the people, the, all the designers come up with uh, lots of ideas and I try to steer them in one direction uh, so to fit the main goal. Uh, yes. When you had the first ideas, um, was there something going on that you think, oh my goodness, we cannot release this? Uh, if we build something that we wouldn't re uh, release? Yeah. No, because it's too big, you know, the, the first ideas. So when you came up, oh, come on, we build a castle, we build, and then it's maybe too large, too big, the model. Oh, I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, in the concept phase, we, we kind of try to push things to the extreme to really test out all the different areas of what we can do uh, and really, you can say, give the designers a little bit of freedom to, to find inspiration uh, because... We, we don't find the essence uh, until we are a little bit far uh, and then we need to pull back a little bit. So we definitely built models that are too crazy, too hard to build. The kids thought it was weird or it was too big. Definitely lots of those. Yeah. So um, we've seen this one before. We've seen the new sets, of course. Um, and there are also small sets. So it's, it's always necessary that you begin with a little set and then you have also the, the big one as well. So it's it's nearly every time the same when you look at the themes, right? I mean, uh, you can say um, we, we kind of try to give a little bit of everything so that so that you have a, the option. So uh, there should be a small set if you need that, or there's also if you're really into the theme, you might be wanting a big set. So we basically uh, we kind of learn what the kids' needs are. So they don't want uh, only small set; they also want the big set. Some of them. So we we basically. We, we make a buffet for the kids, uh, that I would say. And also what, what, type of, uh, what type of sets we need to help tell the story right, of yeah. the universe around, so that also helps inform how they, they end up um, size and then also feature-wise. And of course, there are the new Lego sets, and there's a new TV series, and also there's a new app. Uh, so we've seen the presentation of this one. So this is important too in these days, right? Yes, yes, it's very important. I think the kids are playing both physically and digitally. And so um, the one thing that we did with this experience is to find ways um, to integrate those two play experiences for the kids. Mm -hmm. And that we've done that with the, the powers, the Nexo powers. So it's, I'm going to show the, the power up moment is what we would call it. So where the kids are playing their, their game and they need a, to scan in a power in order to, um, to take it into, into battle. So I have a power here. And I can hold it up to the device's camera. And this is, uh, we found in Kids Test a very magical moment as they go through and, and scan the powers. <clears throat> sea Dragon! And so Sea Dragon is now uh, not only my physical collection, but also my digital collection, where uh, I, can, I can see the powers I've already collected, and, and then the powers, almost 200 more, that I, I do have an opportunity to collect from the TV series or other products or um, books or posters. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think um, there haven't been so many new bricks uh, in the last n few years. So Nexo Knights is new, but there are those shields and um, I've seen other parts as well. So um, do you know how many new bricks you, you bring in with this new theme? Uh, with this new theme, uh, I think we did around 35 or 39 yes, something, something for yes. um, 2016. So we try with a theme like this, we try to... Um, to do really nice uh, building elements, um, you know, something like this, 
gives a nice uh, shape uh, that is uh, is good for our design style, but it's also going to be good for a lot of the other themes out there, uh, like this cockpit as well will also be used otherwise. And then, of course, we have some of the say, IP-specific uh, elements, like the visor for uh, clay, the, the armor for the, for the knights, and stuff. That's, that's going to live in this universe only. So we try to have that balance of doing both. Am I right? The, the star is Lance, right? Um, I, I, I don't <laughs> think so. I mean, it's really, everybody, everybody has their favorite. Uh, okay. If you like Lance, that's great. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> so what do you think? My, my favorite would have to be Macy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And yours? I, I love Aaron. Uh, yeah. He's a green guy. I love the color. I love the attitude. And look at his smile. Yeah. yeah he's amazing. <laughs> so everybody is with the good guys here. No Jastro fan. Uh, everybody has a, a good guy favorite, uh, yes. but I think everybody kind of likes Jestro because he's the good one that turns bad, but it's unintentional. You know, he's he's just a little bit clumsy and he's really unlucky, and so I think it's a it's a it's a bad guy with, but everybody can relate to a little bit. So, of course, yeah. This is very iconic. Do you think so too? Yes, I completely agree. I mean, and uh, this one specifically because it really illustrates kind of the duality of the universe, something really nice, iconic, but it has tracks, it has, you know, these, uh, these uh, hologram, uh, holographic uh, banners up here. So it's really both, uh, both of the worlds. And it was like, a good story about the development, how we, you know, this came to life was that, you know, we wanted to do something from uh, a Knight's universe, but we also wanted to add that tech layer because that's really made it interesting for the, for the kids. Uh, and one of the designers, you know, tried that out. Some, one of the icons of the Knights universe is a castle. So try to give it a shot. How do we, we take that into the future and combine it with something futuristic and put on tracks, put on shooters, put on this. And there, that was a big inspiration for the whole concept. So, you know, you know, trying to do the product and then go back to the, to the story. And then, you know, it ended up Knights rolling around this. So, yes, definitely iconic. For the, for the theme. Do you think that adult fans will uh, like this too in the future? That there will, that there will be a market too? Or do you think, no, I guess this is really for, for children? Well, I hope they like it. <laughs> I mean, we, we, definitely, uh, we, we definitely see potential. Where we have lots of new uh, great pieces, nice characters. We also do, as I said, uh, great building elements. We have uh, new interesting colors. Uh, I think there's a lot for the adult fans as well. Yeah. And there's always this uh, gender discussion. So Lego France is more for the girls, but there are also many men who, who buy the sets. Uh, so I knew a few guys out there. Who, um, and I have also the, the last hotel at home, and it's, it's a fine build. So um, do you think that there is a market for, for the girls out there too? So this is for boys and girls? Uh, yes. I mean, what, the story, there's some very strong uh, female characters in the story. So, um, so anecdotally, we've, we've seen that girls are definitely uh, enjoy the, the theme as well. So. Mm -hmm. And will the people of your country love Nexo Nights too? I think so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new Big Bang theme of LEGO. Um, uh, it's the follow-up of LEGO Chima, which is gone. Um, but there has been a comeback of Ninjago 2 in the last year. So um, can you tell us how many years this will be out there next night, so you have any plan or an idea? Um, the short answer is no. <laughs> I mean, basically, uh, but you can say the investment is, um, is long term. We, have a, we hope that this will live for many years. Uh, us personally, we spend a lot of time and effort, we love it, uh, so we hope that it will be re well received and will continue. Uh, but we cannot, we cannot uh, you know, share our plans for, for the coming years. But, um, this is your favorite set, but I would like to ask you to too. Uh, so, which one is your favorite set of Nexo Knights so far? Um, I would have to say I, I actually like Clay's Rumble, Pla Rumble Blade um, because of the the function. So you can actually pop off the motorbikes and then you can you can fly his um his sword jet. So, yep. And yours? I'm gonna have to go with the Fortrex. <laughs> it is really, uh, it's, re it's really the star of the the concept right now. Yeah.
So what is your uh, wish for the future if you have one? Uh, I am happy working with, with Next to Nights and, and actually but, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in how we can integrate the digital physical play experiences across the themes. So it's more about the, the play experience versus the theme for me. And you won't leave Next to Nights soon? No, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, it's a really exciting place to be. This uh, whole bridging with the digital, it's something that's new territory. So it's really interesting to work with. So I hope I'm, I'm there for a while. So and your boss is sitting right next to you. So I think your answer is you love Next to Night. <laughs> yes, yes, I do love Next to Night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think I still have plenty of ideas to try and out. So we, yeah. I really hope that the thing goes well and that we can continue it in the future. Thank you all so much, uh, and uh, this is a very nice theme, and we're looking forward to all the new sets. Great, thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thank, thank you. Very much.